Hello my dear family members, if you have given the Infosys AC exam and if you have been selected for the interview then congratulations to you, many many congratulations to you. Now you must know that what are the real questions they are asking in interview and what are the advices you should follow, what are the do's, what are the don'ts and how to give the answers in such a way so that you can grab the opportunity at Infosys. Okay, now let me discuss about those just before that guys one request to you please make sure that you are subscribing this channel and watching the playlist of Accenture, Cognizant, Capgemini, Infosys or any other companies that want all the playlists are available with all the recent questions so please follow those i hope you will follow now let me discuss about the first questions hey you ready for the future tech no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door they will ask that is necessary questions and must be must be mandatory questions that is introductions what are the things you have to include in introductions and what are the things you have to exclude let me just tell you that now at first while giving the introductions must include the academic details latest academic details okay and then explain about your achievements your internships your project college project final year project it can be two it can be three if you have not done any project then also please create a hypothetical project and tell that okay just get knowledge about that then about your two technical skills about your two soft skills and then you have to explain about the hobbies hobbies and the uh, objective okay the objective should be aligned with the company's objective okay and if you are sitting for accenture cognizant tcs or any other company's interview then align the objective change the objective with the company's objective okay so that uh you your answer should be attractive your answer could be attractive more okay now let me discuss about the next very important chapter very important questions they will ask that is regarding the project regarding the technical questions regardless of your background regardless of your stream they will ask these questions even if it is a ac role system engineer roles they will ask technical questions how much do you know about uh serve i mean let's say if you have given python as the skill set in your resume then they will ask this question or let's say if you have told that in in introductions that i have done one internships or on one course i have good skill sets in python then they will ask you questions from python so what type of questions they will ask this type of questions they actually asked earlier in 2025 only so that's what i am showing to you why is hashes used in python what is the hatch inbuilt function in python and explain about ex abstractions constructor and inheritance with types and very honestly this third question is very important very very important if you are preparing for any interview then please like get the answer anyway and remember this uh the like template answer and always remember the same answer same answer should be provided to the interviewer and what are the things you have to include here in abstractions in constructor in inheritance at first give the definitions at first give the definitions then give the examples then give the uh, the real time example and syntax as well ask the interviewer that can i tell about the syntax please so if he permits or he if she permits then only proceed to the next uh part okay so i hope you understood guys if you want to give a structured answer like from the definitions then examples then syntax all the things then you have to follow a template answers for all the questions important questions so if you want to follow from uh, like follow the c plus plus questions java questions python dbms sql coding questions operating system networking machine learning cloud computing managerial questions h hr questions and also puzzle questions they will ask puzzle questions so if you want to get the template answers and top most asked questions then this material will help you for those and as well as other 99 mnc's interview so please have the materials uh, available at topmain.io this the link will be given in the description box or in the comment section please go through that it will be very much helpful because following that only students are cracking the exams you can see the feedback of students provided below and also this type of video will be provided to you so tell me about yourself this type of template answers are provided so please go through those it will be only helpful for you thousands are preparing so why not you so please go through that okay now the next question is 
difference between c++ and python so what is the difference between c++ and python you must know right if you only know about python if you don't know about c++ then only tell them about that i know about python so i'm just answering this if you know about c++ only and not about python then please explain only c++ whatever you know explain that okay so they want to know about your uh, about your knowledge about your uh, enthusiasm your curiosity to learn everything okay so now the next question is def define the sdlc and explain waterfall model with disadvantages let's say the candidate is from uh computer science or it it sex, uh, it sector right so they will be asked regarding this core knowledge sdlc and waterfall model and this will not be asked to the core branch like uh electrical or electronics or mechanical students so please uh like prepare accordingly okay then explain acid properties in dbms if this was in your uh in your curriculum then you must prepare for acid properties like sdlc and stlc everything okay now difference between ddl and dbml this is very important questions for all of you guys regardless of your stream cbl mechanical all all of those okay so for all of you these questions are very important explain primary foreign and candidates key what is the stack versus heap memory this is for cs and it guys and explain polymorphism and jvm in java this is this is important for those who has given java as their skill set in resume okay now the next very important questions from sql that is retrieve the person with the highest salary so this type of query based questions will be also asked so have the mentality have the mindset that you have been you will be asked this just uh, just assume that you are giving the interview right now and now by your own give the answers and let make yourself satisfied after giving the answers if not satisfied then please start preparing through the materials available at topmate.com.uf okay now the next question is merge two tables using the sql query and if you don't know exact query then at least try to manage to tell that that we use join uh, the join keyword they want to hear from you okay so at least try to manage to answer that okay define rdbms and explain its features then the difference between delete and truncate very important very important explain sql triggers and clustered index and one important questions i left that is uh join okay that is all the joins and their uh, definitions examples and uh, differences okay inner join outer join what is the differences okay very important questions the next question is from coding part so check if a string is palindrome if it is a prime number or not uh, implement the merge sort so you can ignore this but the first two is very important and then the next important for you i can suggest that is uh funny mm -hmm. okay this one uh this one very important and mm -hmm. okay so these three very important okay so even odd also even odd please find out if or not and give the answer so while you are giving the answers for coding part then please explain the logic you are using at first then explain the syntax or explain the each keyword if you know about that okay and explain the um, uh, time complexity space complexity if you know okay so that will be impacting very much so now the next question is from behavioral and hr questions why do you want to join in process are you flexible to work in any locations describe your hobbies and aspirations share your challenging project experience given a uh, given uh, give an example of how you handle difficult situations etc etc so they can give you some puzzle questions as well so please be prepared accordingly and if you are preparing these interview for 5th of october 2025 then please guys have the materials and go through these at least once so that you can grab the opportunity at infosys okay now the final advice i can give you it is be confident speak clearly and so genuine curiosity about the company prepare projects sql queries and python basics thoroughly and practice two to three coding problems daily infosys focuses on logic clarity always end your interview with a positive questions about learning or growth opportunities for ac role you may expect lesser coding questions but still be prepared with that okay so that's the thing we had to share so i hope you loved this video guys if you found this video helpful please subscribe to this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and let me know if you if you want to get any materials at lesser cost okay so i hope you will do so and i'll manage that at insta so thank you for today's guys please subscribe to techno uf
and don't forget to like and share with your friends.